we are going to see how to enter, enter transactions or how to record transactions and how to set up inventory systems and then we, will, we are going to see a couple of inventory transactions so to uh, do the very first transaction which is uh, uh, 1680 dollar was paid for holiday airfare ticket and uh, that was paid for Arif's uh, daughter Arif Choudhury's daughter so we are going to see how to record this so this is not a business expense so it would be recorded as a shareholder loan account so go to vendor vendor center new vendor new vendor and then we're going to add Arif Choudhury okay there is no opening balance so okay and now uh, you're going to click here new transactions enter bills and Arif Chaudhary and the date is December 1st December 1st and here it is account would be shareholder loan shareholder loan Arif Chaudhary okay the amount is 1680 no tax is recoverable because it's not a business expense so everything looks all right so you're going to click on this uh, save and close and then because a check number was given the check number is 2111 check number is 2111 so that means that uh, this was paid so let's go uh, and see how to uh, how to pay this so cancel this uh, pay bills so Arif Chaudhary is appearing here so just select this and then it's $1680 and then date of payment is 1st of December by check and then it's going out of cash account pay selected bill yes yes it's done so now similarly you are going to uh, record and pay the next one uh, for $2835 to bed and bath incorporated let's look at the third transaction that uh, christmas party deposit for four thousand dollar to barrio fiesta so let's add barrio fiesta as one of the vendor vendor center new vendor barrio fiesta okay the new transaction enter bills Brio Fiesta December 1st account is deposit because this was a deposit okay the amount is four thousand dollar everything looks all right so save and close yes this is done if you look at the next one that one million dollar term deposit this is not something that you are cutting a check for money came in and then it is going to a, a, a different account called term deposit so you can do it through general journal entry you do not have to do any uh, any ap transaction or accounts payable transaction and then pay for it so your money make general journal entry december 1st it is telling you that again uh, it record it as a gain and loss on sale so uh, deposit is term deposit debit sorry debit is term deposit for 1 million and then credit is gain loss on sale or disposal sorry uh, and then it should be 1 million not 100,000 save and close so that's how now we are going to see how to set up inventory and then we are going to do a couple of inventory transactions so here you see in items and services we need one more uh, function here to make it it's not available here to make it available go to edit preference and then company preference you see inventory and uh, items check this off inventory and purchase orders are active so okay okay so now let's uh, click on the home button so it is it is there now inventory activities is here so uh, click here 
inventory center uh, new inventory item new inventory item uh, inventory part item number you know, we bought so we have says 50 says 50 and uh, <clears throat> cost is $13 is this is the opening balance uh, opening inventory um, tax code another uh, tax code G, G which is for GST income account is general training uh, cost of goods sold is cost of uh, co uh, co co course material purchased sorry and uh, on hand how many on hand 500 and total value is 6500 as of November 30th okay so okay so we have another inventory which is called uh, quickbook new inventory item uh, inventory part quickbooks okay the cost of them is 1750 each uh, income account general training again and this one is cost uh, course material purchased on hand uh, 200 opening inventory the value is 3500 and the as of date is november 30th okay so now let's see how to uh, do a, a inventory a couple of inventory transactions if you look at uh, if you look at uh, this transaction uh, Enbridge incorporated they bought uh, they bought 2000 manuals 15 dollar is 2000 of says 50 so this uh, Enbridge incorporated is not set up as the vendor so we need to set it up as one of your vendor so vendor center new vendor new vendor Enbridge incorporated okay so now new transaction enter bills Enbridge incorporated date is december 1st or december 5th december 5th and account is uh, actually you know this one you know you need to you need to uh, activate this on items because we are buying inventory so items and then uh, click here and then it will appear so says 50 select says 50 and how much is 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 copy 15 dollar the opening inventory was uh, 13 dollar is but uh, the 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 purchase is uh, when the new purchase is 15 dollar is the price went up how many did we buy 2000 units okay so the amount is $31,500. Here it is. So everything looks all right. Save and close. Okay. Did we pay for it? There is no check number given. So we have not paid for it. So the next one is uh, QuickBooks. We bought 1,000 uh, manuals from High Arctic Incorporated. So new vendor, new vendor, High Arctic Incorporated okay new transaction enter bill i arctic december 5th and item is uh, quickbooks and we bought 1000 of them and price 18 dollar each and then this is the st uh, chargeable so altogether it's 18900 save and close so again we did not pay for it so there is no uh, second step of payment. So now we are going to see how to do the adjusting entry for the inventory. So if you come to this main menu and then inventory activities, adjust quantity value on hand. So ad adjustment type quantity only, we need to change it to quantity and total value. The date of the adjustment is always 31st of December. Okay, adjustment account, course material, purchased. Okay, so item, the first item was says 50. It is, uh, we are using uh, the FIFO inventory method, first in, first out. So we need to clear out uh, the opening inventory first. Says 50, how many quantities did we have? We had uh, 500. So 
we, we, we have to use the 500 first. So after using 500, how many left? 2000. Quantity difference, okay. The new value is uh, $29,200. <clears throat> should be uh, $30,000 because uh, new quantity is 2000 and then $15 is so $30,000. And then for QuickBook, uh, we had uh, $200, 200 units of uh, QuickBooks as opening inventory. So we need to uh, clear that one first. If we clear the opening inventory of 200, how many will be left? 1000, so 1000 new quantity. Quantity difference to 100, new value is 18,000. Okay, because it's $18 each. So both of them are, uh, okay, so save and close. So our opening inventory is gone. Now we are going to use uh, the ones that were, that were bought. So adjust again, adjust uh, uh, quantity and value. Uh, course material purchased and then this one says 50 says 50 uh, how many left says 50 uh, says 50 left 225 so out of uh, 2225 left so 1775 have been used okay and then for quickbooks we had 1000 now we have only 160 so 840 i'm sorry new quantity would be you know 1775 was used so new quantity would be 225 and in this uh, quickbooks we had 1000 units and how many left 160 840 was used <coughs> Save it goes.